Welcome back to another Run Bike Mike video. My name is Mike. If you haven't been here before, thanks for stopping by. If you've been here before, thanks for coming back. Last year, I put on this light bar. This works really well for going in a straight line, but anytime I want to uh, turn around something tight, I need something different. So I got the solution for that. And the solution is these guys. Today, I'm going to install two of these and they're going to be front facing and they're gonna be up on my roll bar. And these are also gonna be wired up to the same switch that my light bar is on. Let's go ahead and let's get to it. Okay, with these lights, they basically come with a very simple mounting bracket. This right here, the lights come with a little nut on the inside of it and then this small little bolt once you get it tightened down in here, you can just slide this back and forth, get it where you want, tighten it down, and then you'll be ready to use your light. Now that I've got the lights mounted, let's go ahead and let's figure out exactly how I wired this up before with the front light and figure out exactly where I need to tap into that light system to run these lights off of that exact same switch. All right, here's the switch that I used. It is just wired up through this panel here, and then it comes down into these wires, connects into the negative, and then uh, into the positive right there. I think I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take off this panel just to see exactly how this thing links up to the other wire. Okay, there we go. So it looks like we have a ton of extra wire here for that light system that I had purchased last year. Looks like it's holding up pretty well. This is what runs up to the headlights. So this is the wiring right here that I'm gonna wanna tap into. The next step is just to add some wiring to the lights that I can run down through the roll bar and drill a small hole for the wire to exit through to connect up to the switch. Now that I got one side done, let's go over to the other side and do the exact same thing. Now that I got the lights all wired up, it's time to wire up the control panel. I just simply need to twist the wires together, use a little bit of electrical tape and some wiring nuts and then we'll be ready to put the panel back on and test them out. Before we fully test them out, let's go ahead and just do some cable management with some simple zip ties. All right, now that we've got them fully hooked up, I've got everything put back, put in its place. Let's go ahead and let's light them up. Oh yeah. Man, I can't wait to see what this is like. Now I can always adjust these out more if I need them to go out more, or I can uh, position them up or down either way. A few hours later, it got dark and I was ready to test them out. These lights made a huge difference when I'm on the mower at night. It could have been pitch black out and I could see everything around my mower where I could mow successfully even in the dark. This project is definitely a success and I'm ready for the next one. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment below. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. 
But as always, get out there, run, bike, build, and just have fun. We'll see you in the next one.